Losing a loved one can be a highly charged and very traumatic time. Though coping with the loss can be a deeply personal experience, there are a few basic and universal steps to the bereavement and grief process. Knowing this can help you to walk through your grief over the loss of a loved one. Hello everyone, welcome back to Ifechi family. Just to conclude this video regarding Grief Awareness Week. Today I want us to look at uh, quickly at three or four steps that we need to follow in our grieving process. Remember, this is no size fits all. There's no size fits all, so it's going to, I'm just going to discuss things that may help somebody. But it doesn't mean that it will work for everyone. Number one is not to suppress your feelings. You know, allow, allow your feelings, allow you to express your feelings the way you wish to. Provided, as I said before, that you don't let it last on and on and on and then become detrimental to your own health. Coping with the loss of a loved one brings up almost every emotion imaginable. There are times when, when more than one emotion seems to take hold at once and you may feel as if you're going crazy. It's natural to feel that way. Gently remind yourself in your time of bereavement and grief that your feelings are yours and they are well within the norm. It's important to your process to understand that there is no right or wrong way to grieve. The second one is to seek support. It may not be from your family members. It may just be from a support group. Maybe it just gets too much or you don't even have anybody close that you can share things with. So there are various support groups. Here in the diaspora, they have kinds of groups. You know, if you're not coping on your own, then find a support group. These individuals can be a source of emotional support as well as physical needs. The demise of a loved one often leaves a large hole in the life of the survivor. And this can be either temporary or it can be over a long time. So seek support when necessary or if you think that you need it. There are such groups here in diaspora where you can go to and to get some support. The third step is to allow yourself to go through that grieving process. Don't suppress anything. Bereavement and grief is a process it's important to know that every person has their own way of coping with loss. You cannot put a time limit on your grief. You must allow yourself to express the stages of grief as they come up. So in as much as you don't put a time limit to it, as I said before, don't grieve to the extent that you become ill yourself because you're not going to be doing yourself any favor. There are other stages, like people will start being in denial. People will start experiencing or exhibiting some anger. Some people will start just behaving in various ways when they lose a beloved one. Just bear with people, support people. Don't tell them off because of the way they are behaving due to the loss of their beloved ones. Because you don't know the circumstances. You don't know what is going on in their minds and in their heads. And the least you can do is to support them with kind words and not making some comments that are not helpful. The fourth uh, step is to embrace life. So after all the grieving process and things going on in your head and everything, 
Try and embrace your life again. Pain and healing. You have that pain and then healing comes. While the pain of your loss is real and must be felt, there will come a time when you must begin to live your own life again. Yes, as I said before, so that you don't become ill yourself by walking through and overcoming the death or the demise of a loved one. You will come to a place of accepting, accepting the, uh, the bereavement, the demise as a reality. You will find yourself able to move forward and embrace your life without your loved one by your side. Your process through bereavement and grief are your own. As I said before, everyone responds differently to coping with loss. Above all, be kind to yourself and know that you will wake one day and find that the pain is less and less and life can go on. This is the reality of life. So, in conclusion, as you grieve, think about these four steps that I've just mentioned. And God will help each and every one of you grieving at this time to find peace. And for people around those people to use kind words and support them as much as they can. If they're going to be lonely this Christmas period, make sure uh, try and be there for them. Invite them to your own place or do something with them around this time. Because this is a very difficult time for most people who are grieving. Do something special this Christmas period, especially to those who are lonely and those who are hurting in one way or the other. Thank you so much for listening. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to one another. Love yourself and love one another. Thank you so much. Goodbye and God bless. Mm -hmm.